This is a Tom Brown. Tom Brown is a locally processed series and legume combination into a composite flour or powder, which is further processed into a gel like meal texture like pap and is loved by both adults and children. Yeah! In this video guide, you will learn how to process this gorgeous less time consuming meal using a soaking method that releases all the inherent food nutrients available for your body digestion and metabolism. Mmm! -hmm. Just keep watching and learn. Hello, it's Chinedo Vincent from SalpesFoodBlog.com And we teach you how to make pastries, snacks and lunch packs. Subscribe for more valuable food contents ahead. The raw material for this recipe is designed to provide you with a balanced diet. In here we have 3 grains and 2 legumes. The grain provide us with more carbohydrates to gelatinize the meal, while the legumes provide us with plant protein. Among the grains, otherwise known as the cereals, are the yellow corn, millet and guinea corn, or you call it sorghum. We we'll simply add them in a bowl and dip soak with water for 18 hours. Why the legumes are soybean and peanuts? Please know that every legumes and grains are suitable for this very production. And the more of it you use, the more essential nutrients you derive from your meal. So go ahead and exploit as much as you can as we go. So add up your legumes and the soak in water for also 18 hours. Soaking of these grains and legumes are very important, especially for children. Helps to eliminate phytic and polyphenolic substances, which inhibits nutrient absorption by the body. Also aid food hydrolysis, that is, the breaking down of complex food molecules into simpler ones, thereby making it easy for your body to assimilate. So soak your beans with neither fear nor prejudice. You get it? Now, after 18 hours, I have replaced this water with a fresh one for over twice before now. All to do now is to remove from water and then sun dry. I'm sun drying for about 3 to 4 hours because it's a good day and there is actually sun. So while doing that, let's quickly wash the cereals and also sun dry as well. Please, during the sun drying process, endeavor to stay around the grains to enable evenly penetration of the sun. Once you can no longer notice water on your grain, it is time for heat treatment. During this time, there are three major ways to treat your grain. Number one is the toasting method, which I'm using right now. Involves pouring your grain on a heated non-stick pot or any pot of your choice and then begin to stay around until the grain is well cooked. Now, because of the soaking process we used earlier, it's gonna take us longer time to toast each batch of the grain. Let's say about 20 to 30 minutes under the supervision of a medium heat, okay? Now, if you wouldn't want to go into the stress of toasting, I would advise you use the second and the third method, which is the use of your oven. Just spray out the grains on the pan of your oven and bake until it is dried. I mean kakaraka dried. Yeah, put your grains in the ingredients will sound that way when they are well dried. Again, when your grains and legumes are well dried to doneness, the moisture content will be reduced. The shelf life will be increased in case you want to store for long and, and beanie flavor is reduced to the barest minimum. You can literally lick up your powder after grinding. 
Now, speaking about grinding, we'll be using a commercial grinding machine to do this job. But you can also use your blender, okay? Grind it twice in order to obtain a fine powder like this. Now, in case your grinding tool did not do a good job, then you have to sieve. Otherwise, permit me to tell you that our all purpose Tom Brown is ready. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, quickly come over here. Let me show you how to prepare it for yourself, for your baby, and for your entire family. First of all, Scoop an appreciable quantity into your cup of water, dissolve and ensure that it is very thick. In the process, you will encounter some lumps and um, I will encourage you to take your time and dissolve them properly. That is step number one. Step number two, transfer the thick liquor into your hot boiling water on your stove. And while doing that, stay continuously. Once you've successfully dissolved all form of lumps in your pot through constant stirring, then allow to boil. Once it is successfully boiled, please turn off your heat and then add your sweetener. You can use any sweetener of your choice, ranging from sugar, syrup, honey, jam, or any sweetener you want at all. As for me, I'll be using syrup, which I made by dissolving sugar in the hot water. Then I will pour my meal on my plates, after which I'll add my syrup and begin to enjoy. Most times, I love adding extra powdered Tom Brown on top of my meal. Mix them and enjoy. Note that the viscosity of your Tom Brown meal depends on the amount of water you use. You want it thick, use less water, and you want it lighter, use more water. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you all my subscribers. Please give us a like if this video is helpful and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.